what is going on youtube here we go again welcome back everybody to another episode of two by two growing hope you're all having a really awesome day all right so in today's episode we are going to be doing something a little bit different and we are going to be going over the evolution of the led grow lights from the beginning till right now and what sparked this idea mars hydro is turning 15 years old this year so I thought it was a good video idea for a nice recap of the growing evolution of the light industry. And it has come a very long way in the last decade or so. The amount of advancements that's happened in the last 10 to 15 years has been pretty epic compared to the last 40 to 50 years of growing all consisted around a huge, really hot light bulb that if you're growing in the winter, you are going to be given away instantaneously with the only roof that has no snow on it in the whole neighborhood. We've come a long ways since those days. Now we have these really high tech LEDs that run at a way lower temperature, won't give you away if you're up to anything no good, and will produce some really amazing quality nuggets for you. For all of you new growers out here that have just started in the last year or two, you might be shocked by some of the information and some of the lights that I'm about to show you that have actually been the stepping stones to where your lights are at this current state. All right, let's get into it. But before I do that, happy birthday to Mars Hydro. Happy 15th. Let's go back to the very beginning of the LED grow light process evolution here. And we have at the very beginning, the good old purple lights. Yes, purple. And if you didn't wear green glasses, when you looked inside of the grow tent, you would have some green vision for the next 30 minutes or so. It was quite the step in the process, but it is what it is and you kind of learn from experience after your first time not wearing glasses anyway we went on to the next evolution of grow lights and pretty much just downsized the wattage we went from 5 and 10 watt diodes down to 1 watt diodes and then after that we take what i'm gonna have to personally say is the weirdest sidestep in the led grow light evolution process and those lights all of a sudden, all of them that were coming out were called cob lights. Yes, cob. And it was just one big LED in the middle. It ran really, really warm. And pretty much after the first wave of them, you never seen them ever again. Now we're moving on to what is my favorite part of this whole growing evolution. And that was the quantum board LED grow lights. And that included my favorite light, the TS-1000 from Mars Hydro. I was in love with that light for the longest time. It produced some of the best yields and the best quality buds that I've seen from LEDs up until that point. I was very happy with that. And that's what got me into the Mars Hydro brand. And the quantum board process leads us into pretty much what we have going on today. Cause during that evolution step, we started the big strip lights. That's right, not the multiple ones that we all have inside of our grow tents nowadays. We had just one big one in the middle. They still sell them and they are good for certain things. But from my personal experience and what I like, I like the newest ones that they have out nowadays, like the FC8000. All of these newer ones with the bar style lights, they have such an even distribution of light throughout the whole tent. There's no dead spots. And pretty much the evolution for the new bar style lights that we have go as is. They started off with the Samsung LM301Bs. Now we're at the LM301H Evos. I can't wait to see what's coming out for the next evolution of these LED grow lights. And of course, how could I forget the newest evolution to all the grow lights out there? And that is everything is a smart grow light nowadays. You can control them all from your phone. And that is the final evolution step that we're at right now. 
I'm more interested in what are the actual diodes that are going to be coming out next. I'm really, really curious about that. Anyway, I'm going to be wrapping this episode up right about now. So please go down there and smash that like button. Take her easy, everyone. I will see you next time.